because it is much more convenient to use. Um, okay, Katatis. Adam, I need your two cents. So I have a project, and I've hit a bug in Unreal Engine, which 100% causes a crash. However, I'm at a point where I need to do this, otherwise I can't continue with the project. Um, let's see. Alternative methods don't work. What do I do? That is, um, well, of course, you, you know what I'm going to tell you first which is reported to the answer hub. Make sure you can reproduce it in a clean blank project with no additional content. If you can, please, 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 please up your, load your logs and call stack. I'm assuming your DX Diag is fine. I think I've seen it before and it was fine. So I'm not worried about that unless it's an AMD card because AMD tends to have more problems with NVIDIA on the rare occasions that it is hardware based. Um, however, what specifically is happening? What are you, what are you doing? that uh that leads up to the crash um and while i'm waiting on that yeah xz um right now the way we're doing stats is kind of generic it's it's very simple 100 point system i'm actually doing it in a little bit of a different way um which is just you know i've got the values within my controller here for each one and then i up it to a maximum of 100 what i'll eventually do is uh, probably move these into a data table and then feed those data uh, that data table. Um, oh, call stack and log don't know what's going on. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, on your call stack, does it have a a space called machine ID? There should it should be right at the top. If you can send that to me, I can look up the uh, the information hopefully and try to see what I can see when I get to work on Monday. Um, head clock, this is actually, once I get to a point that I'm comfortable sharing it, I'm actually planning on putting this on the marketplace. It's probably going to be very cheap. <laughs> um, it's, it's like, I don't intend to make much money off of this. I just, you know, putting it together, if it ends up being worthwhile, then I'll probably end up selling it just so I can make a little bit of money off of it, but not much. It's not going to be anything ridiculous. But I, I want to make sure it's actually worth y'all's, like, people who want to buy it, I want to make sure it's worth your money. Um, I, I will not put out a product that I am not proud of. And right now, this is just a bunch of crap thrown together. Sounds good. If you can, yeah, if you can send that to me on the, uh, on the forums, because I check the forums, uh, typically in the mornings, um... That would be absolutely the best way to get it to me, and I'll check into it as soon as possible. Um, if Rudy is on it, I can give him that information, and if you have submitted a crash report through the call stack menu, I'll be able to look it up and possibly, it, it, it may not give me any more information, but if it does, I'll be able to at least have a look and see what's going on. Um, <laughs> Rudy said that's broken, yo. <laughs> Um, is it already, oh, it's, okay, so the, the jeer is actually already reported. Um, did he give you a tracking number for that? It should have been, uh, if he reported it, he should have said it was like UE dash whatever the number is, and I'll be able to check into that for you. Oh, thank you, Headclot. I, I really appreciate that support. Um. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, why? Ooh, why is it doing that? Oh. Okay, so. The species one is messing up. Why is that? To string. Enum to string. That's the one that was messing up. So now that should be. Oh, forgot one more thing. Construct, come up here. Input UI only.
self do 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 do, do. Also, we're going to do show set show mouse cursor to true UE21493. Okay. Me make a note of that somewhere. Um, yeah, there we go. So I am leaving myself a note and I'm actually going to keep it here on my desktop so that I won't forget. Uh, I do have a habit of forgetting things, so I apologize, <laughs> but I, I'm going to keep it here so I can try to remind myself. Okay, boom, get set show mouse cursor to false and then set input game and UI self well, I guess that may not matter there we go. What about abilities for your classes? Um, that is something I plan on implementing in the most baseline form possible because I'm not doing any animations or anything like that. I will implement the idea of how to set up skills and abilities and stuff like that, I think, if I can figure out how to do it properly. <laughs> I, it's actually, that is getting into territory that I will be straight up learning and I've never tried to implement before. So it'll be fun, I think, uh, doing unlocks and abilities and stuff like that. I have an idea for how I want to do the, uh, the upgrade system, which if you have never seen, uh, seen this, it is, let's see, I want to say it was 12 experience chart. See, I just need to find where this is, and I'll be able to show you. Oh, yeah, here it is. So this is actually one of my favorite styles. If you look at it, the way this works is the player, like each character or whatever, starts at a specific location. So, like, let's say it's this player or this class. They start here, and then they can buy skills with experience and moving down, uh, down the chain here. So you would basically buy, like, let's say uh, the top one here, and you buy this, and then it unlocks these three. Well, then you buy this, and it unlocks these three buy this one it unlocks that and it, it just keeps going that way until you can unlock you know as much as as you need or you know certain amount or the entire thing um, which is kind of what I'm going for for this because it is going to be a single player RPG um, at least what I'm working on it can obviously be networked if people really want to go that route but I am not a masochist <laughs> Um, but that's kind of the the general idea, so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at. Um, I have to figure out basically how to set up this uh, this grid in the pattern that I want, um, and then how to do, once you hit a certain amount of experience, you level up. When you level up, you get the opportunity to buy X amount of abilities. Um, when you buy one ability, it highlights the, the ones directly around it, unless you have not met prerequisites, stuff like that. Okay, that's enough blathering about something that I'm not even close to starting on yet. <laughs> okay, so now we should you see we can't move. Let's say we randomize, finalize, now we can move. Okay.
So that will pretty much take care of this first UMG widget, which is pretty much going to be one of the first things that comes up when you start the game. Um, it's going to be, we're eventually going to make start menu, hit start, you know, create new character, choose race, choose class. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was playing around before stream and moved those and then didn't, but I think moved them again right at the beginning of stream and I have to build lighting so I just decided to say screw it I don't feel like messing with that <laughs> because yeah building lighting on this computer probably won't go very well but I can do that and yeah movable boom now it's all fixed and not ugly <laughs> okay Back to important stuff. Very important. This is done. So next, I want to go ahead and get a character sheet going. That way we can actually keep track of our stats. Let's see, so we're going to do... Let's do C for now. C works. Um, so this one is actually going to be a bit easier. Stat sheet. There we go. No, that's the character. I don't need the third person character. Do stat sheet. Promote that to a variable. Come down to this variable. Call it character sheet. Crest, flip flop. Add to viewport. Remove from parent. In both cases, target is character sheet. Also, we're going to set show mouse cursor oh, I meant to hit set show mouse cursor not get set show mouse cursor true and false respectively I think the path of exile skill tree is the best skill tree let's check it out Ah, uh, yeah, that's, um, that one's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, that's a lot. Um, I think, I think we're going to hold off on that, because that's a lot. <laughs> But it's a um, that is an amazing skill tree, honestly. Um, well, technically, it'll. I think it's already going to be valid because I'm creating it in another location. Because um, pretty much what I want to do is just keep the same. Uh, the character stats all in the same location anyways, but uh, since I'm already creating it, it'll, it's technically a valid variable. I don't know. Is valid? What's 